What's up everybody? My name is Vinny Matanti, the dietetic intern here. And today I'm gonna to be doing a cooking demo on making spaghetti squash. It's gonna be a nice light uh, lunch side dish recipe that you guys can have all summer for dinner and all throughout the year. So let's get right into it. All right guys, so here's the spaghetti squash. The first thing I wanna do is cut this guy right in half. Now in most of the other videos that I've seen about making spaghetti squash, people cut it um, along this way. I want you guys to cut it this way. Um, and it's gonna be nice and easy. I'm gonna take a favorite knife. I like to use this big one because it's not gonna fail. And you're gonna go ahead, start with a little divot. And then you should be able to cut right down into it without hurting yourself. So be very careful, these aren't very easy to cut, so. Go nice and slow, just making some progress, and we're getting in there. There we go. All right, so now we have two halves, not very equal halves, but it's okay, that's not gonna matter. And then we're gonna go ahead and take a spoon, and then over right here, whatever spoon you guys want, doesn't matter. And you're gonna get all the insides out like a pumpkin. So we're gonna start right up in here and just kind of scoop all that stuff out like a pumpkin. Right over here, I'll get it dirty everywhere. So, again, and it's like a pumpkin, so. I know people uh, roast these things uh, the seeds and stuff, again, just like pumpkins. Um, I'm not ambitious enough to do that, but that's all right. It doesn't have to look perfect because you can eat all the all the flesh in there. Um, so yeah, move on to the next one. Get out of the way. Might be a fun, uh, fun job for the kids to do. <laughs> then again, you probably don't want them making a mess. All right. Now, once we're done with this, we're gonna put it in the oven. So I already have my oven preset to 350 degrees. So you're gonna get your ovens um, before you start this, um, preheated to 350 degrees. Like I said, mine is already there. And we're gonna go ahead and stick it in there for about 40 minutes. And I'll show you what kind of pan we're gonna use. Get all this dough out. Again, doesn't have to be perfect at all. But at least when I get all the seeds out, I'm a fan of seeds. Okay, so that's all done and out of the way. We're gonna get ourselves a Nice flat top, or flat bottom, sorry, pan. Um, try not to get anything too much bigger than this, as you know, your halves aren't gonna be all that, that large. And then we're gonna get some water. Some trusty water, and pour some in. Just enough to coat the bottom. All right, so again, I'm gonna try and hold it steady, but just enough to coat the bottom and just a little bit up on your finger. Make it, I'm gonna add a tad bit more, but you guys get the picture there. So there we go. Perfect. Again, just a tad bit more. All right, and then you're gonna place your two spaghetti squashes bottom down in the water. So there they are in the water. And then we put them in the oven. Okay guys, we're back. Um, when taking these guys out of the oven, you wanna be very careful when flipping them over because there's gonna be a lot of trapped steam in there. So what I do is take two forks and kind of uh, 
maneuver it with the two forks to flip them over. And then you wanna make sure that the flesh is tender. So how it goes in like that, nice and easy. And like that, and also down in here. The key is not to overcook them, so that's perfect. And uh, they stay hot for a little while, you know, they're thick. So we're gonna come back in another 10 minutes. All right, so we're back. It's been about uh, 10 minutes. You, uh, just enough to cool these off to your liking because, uh, like I said, they are very hot when you're done cooking them. You can always uh, stick them in the fridge for a couple minutes or put a bag of ice around them, but you don't want to get them too cold because you're going to cook them again. So what I did here was just take some extra virgin olive oil, put it in my pan here just enough to coat it. Whatever oil you want, coconut oil, doesn't matter what you use. Um, and then you're gonna put, put it on a medium skillet and put it on medium heat um, and let that, that oil heat up. And then you're gonna take some freshly chopped up garlic, about five to 10 cloves, whatever your liking is. I'm Italian, so I did all 10. I like garlic. And you're just gonna put those in there. So we're gonna let the garlic cook just enough for it to brown up a little bit. So when that's in there, and that's doing that, we're gonna go ahead and start making some spaghetti strands out of this. So, you wanna take your fork and start right here. And then you wanna start to turn. Doesn't matter which way you turn. But, as you can tell, you're gonna get some spaghetti strands. And we're gonna take those out over here. And keep doing that. Yeah, so you wanna scrape out all those spaghetti uh, strands that you twisted out in the first place. And then, what you're gonna do is, after you get to something that looks like that, you're gonna go ahead and take a spoon, trusty old spoon, and just go against the rind there and get all that flesh out, because that's all good. You can eat all of that. And they're not gonna be the biggest pieces. They're gonna come out as like clumps, but you got your big strands already, which is good. Show you, this is what it's gonna look like when you're done. And then you're gonna put your garlic once it gets like this or a lot lighter than that. We're gonna go ahead and add the spaghetti squash. So let me put you back up here. We're gonna add our spaghetti squash. So go ahead. Hands are nice and clean. Add our spaghetti squash. But you really get that flavor of the garlic as the base, which is nice. So at this point, I wanna add in just a tad bit of butter. Just a tad bit, not, not too much. And again, it doesn't have to be regular butter. It can be whatever kind of butter you want, or you don't have to add the butter. Whatever works for you, just for some flavor. And it's gonna help with lubricating the pan as well. And then we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of lemon zest. You know, zest a little bit of a lemon, half of a lemon, or full lemon, I did a full lemon, um, and I'm gonna add it in there. And then we're gonna do salt and pepper as well to taste. I like my salt and pepper to be fresh. So I'm just gonna do a couple little uh, turns of these guys. So for you, it'd be maybe a couple pinches of each or to taste. If you guys like it a little more salty, you put a little more salt. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this. So one, two, Nice generous ones, you know, the pepper. I'm gonna do about three, four, five, because it doesn't come out very easy. I'm gonna go ahead and stir that all up. And 
then, again, I have about a tablespoon of oil, whatever oil you like. Um, I have extra virgin olive oil, and I'm gonna pour it over the top. Stir it all in here. You can add basically whatever you want to this. Um, I do say I do want to say you can add a little crushed red pepper if you want to add a little spice to it, as well as um, some Parmesan cheese, just a tad bit, um, or to whatever your your liking is. So a very customizable dish, which is really nice. And then um, we're gonna take half of the lemon that you guys zested, half a lemon you guys zested, and we're gonna squeeze it in. So, go ahead and do that with my lemon juicer. And again, you don't have to do just half. If you guys wanna do the whole thing, go for it. So that's that. That's on the side. So that's that. Half of the lemon. I'm gonna let it cook just a little bit more because again, it was already cooked. You don't wanna overcook it. I'm gonna lower it towards the end here. And this is what we're looking at. So nice and steamy, smells good. You see some garlic and some pepper in there, but you notice that it's definitely a yellow looking dish. So I cut up about a half of a cup of fresh parsley chopped up um, using my awesome ninja skills and I'm going to add that in there. That's that. And stir it around. Nope. Get it on the stove. Now we got a little bit of green. I mean, to be honest, you guys can add whatever you want. You can put some onions, some pepper in there if you like, but I'm going ahead and doing it just basic. All right, turn this off and let me get a little dish here and show you what it looks like on the dish. Because like I said, the pasta is already cooked. So basically you just take a little bit of it Put it on a dish. Just so I could show you what the finished product looks like. And then this is what we're looking at. So it's a very light, flavorful little dish. Um, it's gonna help with calorie control and you're gonna get some vegetables in your life if you don't already have some, so yeah. And again, like I said, I know it takes a little while to cook the squash to the right uh, tenderness. Um, like I said, about 40 minutes in my oven, so you definitely wanna check up on it and put a timer on there. But you know, other than that, the work is really easy. As you guys saw, it took me like a couple minutes just to cook it up on the stove top and uh, had some trouble with the garlic, so I apologize with that, I added that on too early. But this is what it's going to look like and it's going to taste delicious so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh yeah thank you